So, uh, Juliet, we are literally in your world. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so tell me about it. You said it's all hand-drawn, every single piece. It's all, it's all hand-drawn. Um, it is, I've been making images of this landscape for a few years now. I used to have a studio in that building with a tower. Okay, cool. Um, which is Platts Ayat uh, Island on the Thames. Okay. Um, and what I do is I take loads of photos and I build models from the photos. Yeah. Um, sort of almost like sets. Okay. And then I will either enlarge them to become installations like this or yeah. I will paint from them to become two-dimensional paintings oh, okay. um, so you cool. can kind of reconfigure the landscape so it's not a yeah. real it's based on a real place but it's now kind of an imagined landscape yeah, it didn't, sure, didn't sure. ever exist in exactly this form and it was never quite as dilapidated as this yeah. um, I may have exaggerated the undergrowth a little bit <laughs> um, but the sad thing about it is that this island is just burnt down so uh, that shed uh, it's all listed that shed is yeah. now burnt oh, last yeah. week I think it was wow. Um, which is really sad. So I, yeah. I don't have a studio there anymore, but my yeah. uh, a friend of mine does. But luckily, nobody was hurt. But um, yeah. obviously, it's a real shame because it's a historic boatyard. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Beautiful place, really um, sort of untouched almost by time. But you did always have a sense of it being somewhere that wasn't going to last forever, really. Oh, really. Yeah, kind of, yeah. So what, what, what made you come up with this idea of doing these sort of little drawings and then these massive drawings that are like a stage set? Um, I think really the idea of creating your own world. So you can create your own world in miniature, but then mm. you, know, you can blow that up to become something that actually immerses you. Oh, that's what you mean. Um, yeah, yeah. So you take something almost unreal and make it real around you. Yeah, but still retaining that but still retaining sort of <laughs> element of the sort of childlike cutout. Sure. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, so you've still got a sort of... Um, yeah, you still know it's not real, it. but... At the same time, the scale of it's approaching reality. Yeah. But even within this, I'm sort of playing with scale still. So that shed's obviously not the right scale. Yeah. There's some foliage around that side, which is <laughs> clearly, clearly bigger than it should be. Um, and it's the idea that it could continue expanding. So if I were to Absolutely. reinstall it, I would, I would certainly actually think about adding more, uh, you know, sort of grow along the walls have the floor as part of the piece so obviously oh, nice. you couldn't do that in the gallery here but you know maybe sort don't of want to mess getting, up the floor here yeah maybe getting some kind of <laughs> reflective surface so that the image is kind of continuing downwards and you get that sense of a, yeah. a sort of a watery surface yeah no it's 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 uh, it's really good it reminds me of those is it like that you remember as a kid you had those little um theaters you could make do yes, you remember them and yeah, you had those little things and little people yeah. were coming in and out yeah but then you say you'd make it into a big giant real one Real life. And also the idea that it's a sort of place with, with a complete absence of people, which is true, oh, yeah, yeah, true yeah. of most of the things that I make. It's this mm. idea that, you know, you're being presented with this world where it's kind of indeterminate. Yeah. Um, is, is it, you know, in the future? Have things kind of gone to ruin? Oh, I see what you mean, is yeah, it it's all been destroyed. Where are the people? But it's mm. also not supposed to be a kind of pessimistic view of that to me. No, no, no. I mean, you've got this beautiful sunlight coming through. You've got a lovely sort of sense of somewhere quite peaceful in a way, sort of calming. Yeah, I mean, definitely that's what that island evokes for me. Um, yeah. And in fact, most of the places that I kind of choose to present, definitely I would sort of say they're sort of sanctuaries almost. Okay, yeah, I like that, that's cool. And so you actually drew all of this. Yes. So, but how long did it take you to draw it? Um, so I was working on this one and another one at the same time of a similar size, and between the two of them they took lockdown. So I sort of started yeah. making the models right at the beginning of lockdown. Wow. And then I was working on the two sort of almost concurrently throughout, so 10 months, nine, 10, ten months, months, yeah, yeah, like long time. maybe slightly longer. Yeah. But, you know, sort of having breaks in between doing other things. But, sure. yeah. Sure. So, what, what have you actually used for the drawing? Because is it pencil or is it some kind of. It's watercolour and ink. That's what I was thinking, yeah. It must be, yeah, yeah it's sort of like watercolour ink, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's hand drawn with pencil first of all, and then kind of blocked in with watercolour and ink. Okay, nice, nice. Let's 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 move back. I'm trying not to fall over any of the bits, so we give the <laughs> give the viewers a sense of the whole vibe. Because it's actually it's actually really good. It works actually really well both close up and when you um, move back out of it. So it's made in a very confined space. So I haven't got a very big studio at all. <laughs> um, so it's it's tall. It's just, it's it's tall enough on one wall to fit. 
that back drawing on more or less but okay. it's very narrow so you're kind of not standing back from oh, it man. so I guess I'm working in kind of close proximity to the paper all the time um, so you, you can kind of get the idea that every bit has been worked on um, and you really only get a sense of what it's going to look like as you're installing it you know you, the model gives you an idea but yeah. as a practice it's you know, part of the practice is, is, is actually making it on site, making it fit the site, adding, yeah. bits, adding bits to it on site as well. I love the idea you've built it in a narrow place. It's almost like you've built it in this sort of claustrophobic thing <laughs> and then it's, then it's let out. Yeah. It's let out so into I the world. It in, on final. another boatyard on the Thames and I've got sort of, uh, it's a lovely studio in terms of I've got natural light, I've got one very big wall, but it's, it's quite a narrow, long studio. Sure. So you just sort of adapt. Yeah, adapt. It's, 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 I mean, it's a really weird thing to see, but it was obviously really cool. It's quite a sort of, I just really like the drawing in the background, in honesty, and the shed in front. You've got a nice sense of depth and space, and, and the light is really cool. And you can kind of reconfigure it. So, as I was saying, mm. if I did it again, I'd, I'd, I'd add more to it. It'd grow along the wall. I'd have more kind of collapsing columns. Um, so it's something that kind of it exists in this iteration once, then it kind of, gets collapsed and then yeah. if I re-exhibit it it won't look exactly like this. Mm. No that's quite nice as well isn't it so it's yeah. kind of always evolving. Right? Yeah definitely. How do you manage to store those pieces without mangling them? <laughs> um, well you have to roll them up very carefully. Oh yeah them. very carefully yes. basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's sort of and so how, what size was the original sort of maquette for this? Uh, sort of a three size if you're looking at it from the so front. Literally so literally teeny. Small. Yeah. And you built it looking like that essentially. Kind of, yeah. yeah it's kind the, of, it's yeah. the image on the flyer, so you can see it's quite a sort of oh, okay, fairly nice. crude um, yeah. photographic model. Um, obviously, you change things as you're building it. So as, I, mm. I was, as we were installing in the space, we added things. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. added more imagery uh, to it than there was in the model. So those kind of things just change on site. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah. I like this it quite a sort of fluid... It's, it's quite nice to think of it actually changing to the space when you actually install it, isn't it? Yeah. Cool, right, and, and you've also got a drawing, haven't you? Should we, should we, uh, can we go and have a look at the drawing? Oh, so, so did you make a maquette for this as well? Yes, uh, yeah. it's not exactly the same model as that one, but it's sure. part of a, the same series of models that I made, so you'll see the same features okay. in it, the shed, the, the tower. Same garden, like, yeah. Oh, the shed. Um, yeah, yeah. And again, I've, I've sort of used the model to exaggerate the collapse of it and sort yeah. of add more beams in it collapsing. Mm. Um, but yeah, I just included this to show the different ways in which I'm using these models. So they're not just producing three dimensional spaces, they're also yeah. being used to create two dimensional drawings, which again mm. are imaginative places. It's a weird thing to do, to make the 3D model and then turn it back into a 3, 2D drawing. <laughs> well, I mean, because <laughs> then I'm kind of, so, so it's inspired by this place, but this mm. place in the, you know, the model doesn't really exist. It's my mm. kind of creation. Um, and then obviously kind of this watery element I've added to it. So it's, it just gives you this basis for an imaginary composition. Yeah, it's, 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 it's an odd thing. So in a way, you're taking a real place, mm -hmm. you're then making this sort of imaginary vision of the real place, yeah. and then you're making a picture of that imaginary vision of the real place. Yeah. So mm. it's, it's based on the model being the reality, but mm. the model in itself is not presenting a real place anymore. It's very, it's oh, sort of that's a weird one, isn't it? It's, it's weird. There's a weird sort of... There's a weird process of moving away from reality, isn't there, in the... Yeah, and then I guess going back to reality when you go, turn it into yeah, 3D. Yeah, when you turn it back into a real thing like that, it turns it back into reality. But it's like a reality that's sort of been modified or changed or warped or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what's your... Are you going to do a bigger one? <laughs> if I get the chance to, definitely, yeah. yeah, yeah. I would love to have one that's sort of expanded to fill a big space, almost as big as this yeah. gallery. You could, because you, you could, could kind of... You? you wouldn't just have to be one... You could have several different locations kind mm. of coming in. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that would be brilliant. We'll see. Watch this space. Watch this space. That yeah. <laughs> would be really cool. Well, I've, I've really enjoyed seeing them. It's a really, I, I really like the sense of sort of how you're sort of warping reality with the creation of the different things and it's going back and forth and forth and back. It's really cool. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice. And yeah, it is fun to just go into it and sort of be part of that world. I hope you encourage the visitors to wander Absolutely, inside. Absolutely, yeah. That's why I kind of had it as an as a open... Yeah. space in a so sense that you, so you can navigate into it. I've done them before where 
you're kind of screened out by the okay. kind of flats. They're stopping you from go going in. But I wanted yeah. to kind of experiment with having people navigate around the, yeah. around the space. And if they tread on the edge of the paper, do you smack them? I'm not here, so <laughs> no is the That's answer. Up, <laughs> no, no, it's you know it's raised off the ground, so it should be. Yeah, it should be. yeah I mean it's designed to be to to be experienced. Experience, so, yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. No, it's really cool. I really enjoyed looking at it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>